Hey guys, what's happening? This is Amazon Online Arbitrage Guide for beginners to sell on Amazon UK step by step. I'm going to break down on how you can go and make six figures per year reselling products on Amazon UK in this video, guys. So make sure to keep watching, guys. Loads of good gifts and surprise happening, guys. And if you are looking to start selling on Amazon, this is the video to stick by. My name is Andre Krasibers, guys. Welcome to another YouTube video of mine. You can like this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys. That's the biggest thank you can give me, and I don't need anything else from you, from you, okay? If you want to receive my free Amazon FBA guide to start selling on Amazon completely for free, Comment word guide. It's gonna be a 30 minute private tutorial on kicking off this Amazon FB business. On top of this video, you're gonna get another video. It's a private one, guys. Make sure to comment word guide below this video as well. Okay. Now, before we start, guys, you know, before we go through the step process, because I do have everything here for you in place, we're gonna go step by step. I'm going to be showing you guys some profitable products at the end as well. So basically from opening your seller account all the way to running everything on autopilot because that's the goal. You don't want to be stuck in your own business. You want to be actually running a business and making sure that you are, you know, making money on autopilot, not working 60, 70 hours per week. Otherwise, might as well go and get a job, okay? If you're looking to take a shortcut to the success, I must remind you guys all, as always, because I'm a big believer that you should be listening. Let me just move myself real quick, guys. I'm a big believer, guys, you should be going and investing into yourself. I offer FB Mastery program. That's my complete step-by-step -step intense program, FB Mastery, where I'm offering um, private support inside my Telegram community. If you're interested, guys, the link is going to be below, guys. Standard or VIP package, guys, for you to take, okay? I also offer School of Amazon. That's my... That's, that's an intense program. MB Mastery is a lifetime program. School of Amazon is like an intense thing. It's my signature program. That might be available as well, guys. At some point of the year, you can check out the link below, depending when you're watching the video. It might be opened up right now for, like, for the next launch. It might not be. It's there two, three times per year, guys, whenever I have time. I launch also School of Amazon, guys, on top of everything. Okay? So, yeah, guys, let's crack on. So, what do we do, guys? This is Amazon Online Arbitrage for Beginners Guide. We're two minutes in this video, guys. I'm trying to make it as quickly as possible. If I am a bit too fast sometimes guys you can always pause and you know watch back and etc and i just trying to fit as much information as possible guys in a short amount of time because i like giving no bs i want to give you guys straight to the point information on things that are actually working because there's so many people out there just hyping up on different subjects and i'm not like that i love being transparent and honest with you guys and just showing you guys what's real this is a business where you can go and make i would say on average three to ten thousand a month in profit uh you know if you go and make over ten you should be putting some serious money into it, depending if you're doing the model FBA or FBM, it depends. But put it this way, guys, 3 to 10K, that's what a lot of you guys are still, uh, you know, aspiring to have. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will be happy with two, three grand, you know, five, seven grand a month in profit with online business that you actually run on autopilot doing nothing, guys. Okay, so crack on. Uh, account creation is the first step. So you're going to create a seller account on Amazon UK. That takes 20 minutes of your time. You provide your ID, you provide your documents. You know, it's very simple, straightforward. You And then you just give your, you know, you need to have like a basics, like passport, your name, your second name. Obviously, you can provide the address you're living in, the address, and then... Um, there onwards, you probably get booked, probably most likely get booked, and 100% get booked right now. Back in the days, there were no video verification. Now they have video verification to speed up the process. You gotta show your face, show ID, and you're gonna get your account verified, and they basically get you saying, they say you have an Amazon seller account right now. You're good to go. Okay, so you make a seller account. I'm not gonna physically go and make a seller account right now, guys, because it's gonna take a lot of my time to do it, okay? So I'm gonna just show you guys on the way you need to go. I'll leave all the links, guys, below this video, guys. Don't worry, okay? The next thing, guys, is professional or individual selling plan on Amazon, okay? So once you have everything set up, once you have a seller central account approved, you also get asked when you're creating an account, do you want to upgrade to professional and etc. What do you want to do? Do you want to be individual sellers? So there's a couple things you need to know, okay? This is showing, um, you know, sell on Amazon. I just put in Google sell on Amazon. It gives like the US, but it doesn't really matter. If I put the UK, it's going to show the same thing, okay? So uh, sell on Amazon UK, is it going to open up the... Non-dollars version for me, guys. I'm not sure. It's gonna open up the U. I think the UK version is over here. But um, basically, they offer a different plan. Okay, so right here. Okay, so see, see, they offer a different plan, basically. Okay, so um, which looks like this. There's individual plan. There's also a professional plan. 
you want to be paying for a professional plan, okay? Simple as that, okay? I'm just gonna keep this window open, guys, because it's more user friendly, more easy to read that way. It's dollars. Amazon is in US. I teach Amazon US guys, by the way, as well. I do offer step by step guide on how to start selling on Amazon US. In fact, I sell myself more in US than I do in the UK right now. Top link the, in the top right corner is gonna be guide on how to start selling on Amazon US. But this channel, I just kind of like pushing out more UK content because that's what you like, guys like watching and etc. So yeah, I just enjoy providing some more UK content because it's just a UK channel and stuff like that. Okay, so we got individual account, we got professional account, two different types of accounts you can go and start selling on Amazon. I recommend start selling with a professional. By no means, you're investing 30 quid a month, which is in British pounds, $40 a month in US. It's like 30 quid plus VAT if you're not unregistered and etc. And you know, you might as well go and pay 30 a month and you get unlimited categories that you can go and use. You can have a buy box, which is basically giving you a chance to win the sales. If you don't have buy box, you don't make sales. And you can also have user permissions, you have extra features, and you also get treated and seen as Amazon as a professional seller rather than just being someone who went on Amazon to sell the pair of socks and etc. Guys, okay. Individual account, you have to pay 99p per each sale you make. So 40 sales you make, 30 sales you make in UK, it's 30 pounds a month professional in UK, and you offset in your professional seller account. And you're not here to make 30 sales per month, you're here to make 30 sales per day minimum, better off selling 300 sales per day. That's the goal, 300 units per day. This is a laugh, right? When it gets down to like 30 sales per month, who wants 30 sales per month? You make nothing 30 sales per month, like absolutely nothing. You know, it is what it is, okay? So yeah, there's no buy box eligibility as well. Like I said, the buy box is this little thing over here, guys, I'm gonna show you what the buy box is. This is the item, just the, an example I prepared for you guys. And basically this item shows here, the, this is the buy box, add the basket buy now. You're not gonna get the buy box, you're not gonna get into that buy box, like you're not gonna be a seller like here, yeah, Aurora Marketplace, and you're not gonna make a sale through the buy box, and you just won't be, you, you won't get exposure basically, okay? So professional selling plan over individual plan, always guys, forget about the individual plan, don't ask me this because I have a lot of my followers, a lot of my students also ask me before they even watch my course, maybe master program, they say, Andre, can I be a professional seller with an FBA account? They're basically, they're confused, I get it, I get it. But some people just deliberately like to save some money and start an individual, you can't really start properly anyway. Like, it's just, you know, it's like driving a car with no um, steering wheel, let's put it this way. It's like driving a car with uh, with free wheels. It's gonna, you, you can technically do it, but it's gonna be extremely difficult for you, okay? You know, it's just, uh, <laughs> you get the you, you get it, guys, okay? The next thing, guys, looking for two, for products, looking for profitable products right now, guys. How exactly you find profitable items to sell on Amazon, I'm gonna explain, guys, right now, okay? There's two main methods. First of all, guys, there's, there's automated method and there is manual method, okay? Let's talk about the manual method first. I'm gonna quickly talk about the automated method after that as well, guys. Okay, so first of all, guys, for the manual method, I want you guys all to go to my Telegram channel, which is right here. The link is gonna be below, guys, this video. And you wanna go and click the pin post at the top, and you wanna scroll down, and here you click the hottest links. I'll explain why you need to go there, guys. It's not clickbait or anything. You do need to go to my Telegram. Generally, follow me, guys, if you want to receive more content, more information from you guys. If you generally enjoy my information, if you guys find it useful, like this video already, guys. Make sure to comment where the guide to receive an additional private guide from me to start selling on Amazon, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy it, okay? Here, you will find information on my stuff and, uh, you know, my mentoring program, my scripts, my additional freebies and stuff. Click here on top, OAFBA Supplies. We update those supplies every single month. Those are the supplies I recommend you guys to start with for Amazon UK and for Amazon USA, okay? So my top 30 list of the best products that we are finding profitable items at, okay? Here's the list, the, the first list we have, and the second list, guys, we have here as well for USA. So go and make sure to use this list, guys. This is super important. And basically, it's just a, a kickstart for you guys so you don't have to worry about or which there's like hundreds of retailers you can go and go you can go out there and basically trying to find profitable flip deals. But we have made a list of the best on-demand retailers where we're finding the best profitable items at. Okay, guys. So yeah, we're gonna go and use a supplier called Tiki Max. Actually, it's not in our list. I'm gonna go and try to find a profitable item from Tiki Max. I already opened up a profitable item, guys, for you. But let me guys go and show you guys how exactly it works, what you need to do. Just in case I don't find a profitable item, I already prepared one for you. Here, you can just, I'm not sure, I think Tiki Max does toys, right? So you click on, yeah, they, they do kids, baby, they do all that stuff, kids and baby, and they do uh, toys and books. So it doesn't really matter, just go to like toys under 20 pounds. It doesn't really matter, guys, whatever you wanna do, okay? So we're gonna go to different, um, uh, so 
taking items likes taking the time okay but we are pulling some profitable items from this website okay there are many uh you know there are many retailers you can go and use out there tiki max is one of them let's just go to clearance section okay let's go to clearance section click view all that's a really good way to also go and expand is the clearance sections is the i'm not sure that they're playing about me guys you know this tiki max i'm not sure i'm just gonna go to a different supply i'm gonna go and pick in fact uh, okay it's coming up right now guys so they are coming up with something guys okay so nail in squeeze day gift set and something nothing like i'd like to go for something specific that has some kind of a brand name so this model we're trying to find a flip deal we want to go and buy products low and sell them high on Amazon okay let's go back to toys because I like to explore clearance for toys that's a good idea okay so we're gonna go to clearance for toys and click view all let's see if it's even gonna come up okay because uh, I don't usually go on TK Maxx myself I don't do any of this stuff guys myself just to make this clear I have my assistants doing all all of that stuff for me guys okay so we have a different items here we got those two let's just open up those two toys over here I'm going to open up. Some website doesn't allow you to open up in the right hand corner, which is what Tiki Max does right now. It's annoying. Ten pounds for Splash Mania. We're taking it for ten pounds, and we're taking this to Amazon UK. So we're going to go and take this to Amazon.co.uk, and I'm going to just copy paste the title into here. See if we can actually go and find the match. Buy it for ten, and let's see if it's selling for like twenty and etc. Let's hopefully we can go and find it. Okay, so Splash Mania pool for ten. It's off season right now when I'm recording this video, so uh, hopefully we're going to have this pool somewhere here for like. For like 20 i can't really see here for 20 maybe it's this one here no it's not that one okay so it needs to be something like identical well it needs to be the same we can either find it by the title or you can go and find it by um you know by the keywords and etc guys we got this blue shell helmet lamborghini brooklyn lollipop orange air blaster that's something very specific so those blasters are very popular on amazon okay our job is to find low and sell high that's basically how the online arbitrage works this online arbitrage guys for beginners guide don't forget okay so uh, uh we got this toy blaster in orange i'm looking for this exactly same orange blaster right now on here and i cannot find it like visibly i cannot see it like straight away i try to pull so i i i'm trying guys and basically you want to go and, and find a match sometimes the products are not even going to be there you can go and create a listing i don't really recommend that I don't recommend doing that, okay? So we got a hard journal stationery set. Something pretty generic. I don't think we'll be able to find this particular set over here. It's good when the item has some kind of a keywords in there, like brands keywords. When it's branded, like not generic, and you can see this one here. You see different variations of the hard journal or stationery set. And it's very, very, very typical, guys, okay? So your job is to go and find products manually. Usually I can find one product per hour, maybe two products per hour, depending on which site I am going by for, okay? So let me just try to find something specific here. And we got Aqua Beats here, Advent Calendar Set. I don't like Advent Calendars, guys, because it's pretty generic as well. And um, let's go and maybe flip, sort this out. They don't have a little, they have a sorter here, but it's very, like, it's very, uh, very old-fashioned. You know, the Tiki Max is a little. They need to. They really need to work on on the website a little bit more because I don't really find it user-friendly, to be honest. You know, so uh, though we are actually finding some deals there. You know, what I like a lot is using, um, you know, Humber Gains. Let's Fisher Price. Fisher Price Sandy Real Speeder. Fisher Price is a brand. It's something that we can actually go and uh, potentially play with. Okay, and we can put into here. And we can just quickly search this up on Amazon. Three pounds for a Fisher Price item. See if it's even here. See if it's even here. I can't even see this Fisher Price item here. Like I'm looking for the same item. It's a very tiny product though. Okay. Anyway, guys, it doesn't matter. Look, profitable item here. TK Max found this intense repair mask. For twelve ninety nine, you get the point. That's the manual method. You go through different retailers that I recommend you guys on Telegram, and you start looking for profitable items. Eventually, you will find the title. You search by title, and you find the product that looks like this. We found the same Amica set for twenty five thirty one, selling on Amazon, buying for twelve ninety nine, selling for twenty five ninety nine, whatever. What is it? Twenty five thirty seven, twenty five thirty one, whatever, guys. A seller amp tool is showing twenty three sales per month. A bit on the low side sales, not too many sales here, and it's making us five forty three clean profit after all expenses, making us profit of twenty one percent, forty one percent ROI. So you found a profitable item, guys, that looks like this. Okay. The next step that you want to be doing, guys, you also want to be checking out an automated method. 
to find profitable items, which is using a tactical arbitrage tool. That's another tool we guys use to find profitable items. I'm not going to be showing guys how it works in this video because I have a super cool, awesome tutorial coming up in the top right corner, guys, for you. Also, guys, I'll leave the link to that video specifically below this video. Basically, this tool, you pay like $100 per month, like 80 quid per month, and it gives you a chance to finding products from different retailers in one click of the button. It basically scans the entire but you know, retailer for you guys. Let me put up a little bit of a light here, guys, so you can see me better, okay? So it's getting a little dark here as well. So uh, it's, uh, you know, it basically helps you to find the products in one click of the button, and I really love this tool, guys, and I will be leaving, guys, a video tutorial, guys, for you, okay? If you don't want to be spending money, stick to manual method. That's my top recommendation, guys, for you, okay? So, so far, guys, enjoying this video, make sure to click, click word guide below this video, comment word guide to receive my step-by-step -step guide to start selling on Amazon and make sure to like this video guys hopefully guys you're getting some value from it okay so yeah um, so this item here we found it you know it's selling on Amazon it's looking good what do we do next um, product analysis you want to check the profit first of all guys we checked the profit already it's showing us 543 profit after all expenses you will have additional expenses like shipping product into Amazon, like a sh using a prep center that was going to be an additional like one pound, one pound 20. I'll explain that in a second, guys. Don't worry. But yeah, the tool shows us 543 profit. It's extension called Seller Amp, by the way. You can use, um, you can use a free uh, Amazon FBA calculator, guys, if you really want to. So that's completely up to you guys. I recommend using Seller Amp tool because it just really saves a lot of your time. I'll leave the link, guys, below this video as well. Okay, so check the profit. The next thing, guys, you want to go and check, you want to check the keeper chart. Check Keeper Chart. What is the Keeper Chart and what exactly it stands for? Okay, so Keeper Chart is a magic chart which is going to be right here below this below this uh, product right here. This is a chart, Keeper Chart. You download it, you you may put it on your on your it's, it's, it's an extension tool. Okay, and basically it gives you all this cool data over here that we're not going to go through all. Like I don't have my you know my Keeper enabled right now here, but I have the basic Keeper which shows you the main thing which is the buy box. Okay, so we have the buy box price of a product which is the pink line so i'm going to open up this for you okay so what's important to check is you want to check the pink line over the last 90 days that's basically the average price of the product for over the last 90 days and you can see it's actually been selling for even better what you want to make sure is guys you don't want to make you don't want to find a product which has been selling like let's say if this item was selling is selling for 25.70 and like for 70 80 days straight we're selling for like 19 18. that's a really bad indicator because you can potentially lose money and that means this product is not stable if you look over the year time it gives you different uh, time spawns here over a year or 492 days okay in fact it's actually been declining recently it did decline even further and actually went up a little bit more right now so we can pretty much say it's not going to go down anymore it could go in declining stage like continue declining but i, I doubt it I mean, it has very low sales. It really depends. You have to go and test out the item, okay? And uh, what you want to make sure, guys, is in this case, you know, when you in looking at the actual key, by looking at the buy box pink line, you want to make sure that the 90 days are showing more or less like good history of the product price, and um, it's not being like lower than your profitable, you know, profitable value, okay? You still want to make sure you guys are making some money. You're making your desired three, four pounds after fees and etc., guys. Okay. Now the next thing you want to be checking out after this. You want to be checking BSR, which is best sellers ranking, okay? So best sellers ranking of the product, guys, okay? So you're going to scroll down on this item over here, scroll down right here, and then here, you typically go and check, um, you know, in product information, you have what's called the best sellers ranking right here. That's in beauty. Best sellers ranking in beauty is 70,235. Each item has its own category on Amazon, okay? Each item is in its own category. In beauty, home, kitchen, toys, all that stuff, guys, okay? This item has a rank of 70,235. 70,235 in the category of beauty. What does that mean, guys? Okay, there's two ways to check it if this rank is suitable or not. Scroll up, seller amp will show us whether we can go and list this, uh, whether we can go and list this item with desired BSR. That's a 2% BSR. This item goes in a 2% of the best sellers ranking in its, in its category, which is beauty. Okay, so it goes 2%. We just to jump ahead, we are sourcing products that are going in the first. 3% of the category. How do we check this, guys? Okay, I have a cool um, table here. 
which goes like this. I will leave the link guys below for you, okay? Which gives you a table for each Amazon marketplace, sales rank, US sales rank, Canadian one, Mexican, and finally UK, okay? And you have Germany here as well, okay? So UK sales rank, have different categories here available, okay? Different amount of products on the right side in each category, okay? For example, home and kitchen is one of the biggest categories. It has, it has 4 million, uh, that's home and garden, 36, 38 million, 354,000, total number of products guys in the category guys okay the lower the number the lower the number is the better the selling item is okay if we're looking at the beauty the item which has been checking right now the beauty category has four million four hundred thirty eight thousand products six hundred forty seven I'm gonna scroll to the left you can see guys here the percentages okay top 0 0.5 top one top three top five so top five percent typically we buy everything in three percent of the category in the rank so our product was like 70k which goes in the first two percent it's between one and three so it's more or less of a k item it's not a very fast selling item okay the more fast selling products gonna be towards like one percent under one percent like somewhere like 0 0.7 0 0.6 percent like top top 0 0.5 percent which is the first column over here all like under 22,193. Basically, a top best, uh, an item that is like ranked seven or eight in the beauty will be considered as a best seller, a top seller in its own category, guys. Hopefully, guys, this makes sense, okay? Now, the next thing, guys, that we wanna be looking and paying attention to, okay? Apart from BSR, is weight stars and checking the actual competition, okay? So weight stars and checking competition on this item, guys, here. So first, you wanna go and check the weight of an item. You can check this in two ways. There's one here, let's go scroll, scroll down here, guys. Technical details, and we have these specs over here, guys. 226 grams, okay? Just to keep this simple, guys, Amazon will charge you about five pounds. Amazon will charge you this inside the Sell Essential account when you'll make a shipment and send a product into Amazon from the prep center. They will charge you about five pounds for every five kilos of products you send into Amazon. So roughly, you're gonna pay for 300 grams, guys. You're gonna, you're gonna you know, be paying like 30, 40 P per item, 25, 30 P per item will be paying to send item off to Amazon fulfillment, which is nothing. So you can be taking that off from your profit. If the item is making five pounds, just take off 30 P for 70. Okay, so also gonna pay a prep cost of about 50, 60 P per item. So one pound roughly you can take off for prepping and packing of a product that goes over to Amazon fulfillment, Amazon FBA guys. Okay, so yeah, in this case, a pretty light item guys, okay? The second way to check this guys is also using seller amp tool, which we're using over here guys, extension. We're gonna scroll down on the tool right here at the bottom and you can go to the you know the fee section total fees okay here we have a referral fee okay that's what Amazon takes from selling a product you know from selling a product on the actual platform they take about 15% to make you know when you make a sale they take about 15% commission fulfillment fee is 281 that's the fulfillment fee you pay um, you know, basically, yeah, fulfillment fee uh, that Amazon uh, ch uh, charges to send the product over to your custom distribute everything and etc. Guys, okay. And inbound transportation fee is exactly what I just told you earlier. They'll charge about twenty six p to send this item over to Amazon by UPS. Okay, all that stuff, guys, is going to get sorted later. Don't worry. Prep Center will do it all for you guys. And again, I did. You know, it's it's. It's straightforward. You sign up to my prep center, guys. I'll leave the link, guys, below this video, guys, as well, okay? Guys, hopefully you're learning. Let me guys know, okay? Let me guys know. Click that like, click that subscribe. And don't forget to comment word guide. For any mentorship and stuff, FB Mastery Program, also go and check it out, okay? Keep watching, guys, till the end. I'll show you guys a profitable item, and I'll continue explaining further what you need to be doing as well, guys, okay? So you're gonna go back to the notepad that we have, okay? So you've checked the weight, you've checked the, uh, you're checking the stars, and you're checking the competition right now, okay? So stars is right here, Three, 392 ratings. 4.4 out of 5. Okay, make sure it's like over 3.5 stars overall, just to make sure that the product is in satisfactory condition. You don't gonna get you don't gonna get in trouble for just a purely having a bad product. You don't want to be having extra negative feedback on you and etc. Guys, okay, 4.4 out of 5 is fine. 3.5, you know, all that stuff, all, all that stuff, guys, is really good. Okay, no problem. 4.4, it's completely fine. Okay, the next thing, guys, is on the right hand corner here. You're checking the competition. Okay, so you click new 18, and this is gonna be your competition that is pulling up other sellers that are selling this item here. You want to, you want to, what you want to do guys here, you want to only consider competition as the prime sellers who are also doing Amazon FBA. So you see here at the top, you have Aurora Marketplace dispatched from Amazon. That's an FBA seller who uses Amazon Fulfillment. This one here, Sedona UK, also doing the same stuff. CGB Trading, also using Amazon. The, the Amazon, they're doing exactly the same stuff, guys, that I'm teaching. They're doing online arbitrage, okay? Click Filter, and you only want to show prime sellers over here, okay? You have 13 other prime sellers that's a competition, and basically your competition are pretty much the only ones that are matched price the lowest price, the lowest selling price. So we have one competition here, we've got 2531 here, this one here, 
And uh, this one here, 32, he will be considered as competition as well because it's near enough the similar price as the other ones. 25.62 is a little bit off already. 25.70, they're kind of going down. So there's five or six, uh, there's about five sellers who are going to be competing total for the buy box. And you could be splitting those 25 sales that this item is making between each other. So about five sales per month you're going to be making on this item. Not huge, not loads. You're going to be making a little bit of money, but that's about it on this particular item, guys, here. Because you're going to be getting an equal share of the buy box, guys, okay? To, to understand how the buy box works, guys, that's a different video. And again, in more depth, I explain about the buy box, about this button over here in my mentoring and stuff like that, guys, okay? So it's out to basket. You know, that's where you're going to get the sales. And basically, the key factor in getting the sales is the price, is the price that you set on inside your sales central inventory and etc. Guys, okay. Now the next stage, guys, is before you know after we check everything, we're buying the actual products. We're gonna go to TK Maxx and we're gonna place a quantity of 10, 20, 5, however you however you want to buy. You know that you're gonna sell about five units per month, so you don't want to be over buying, maybe buy just 10. And you send the products over to the prep center for repacking and relabeling. I just pulled up a random image, guys, on Google, which basically shows a prep center that you know basically it's just a special facility warehouses. They will receive your products and will send the products over to Amazon on your behalf. They'll repack, relabel everything, and they do everything for you guys. Okay, they, and this is that's basically how the model works in the online arbitrage for beginners guide that I'm doing guys for you right now. Okay, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Okay, so yeah, before you even send the products over to the prep center, you have to go and check one site, which will typically offset your um, it will offset your expenses for the prep and pack. It's a cashback website, topcashback.co.uk. I'll leave the link, guys, below this video. Let me show you guys how it works. You simply enter your source, like TK Max. Let's see if it's even here. I'm not sure if TK Max is uh, a part. How do you even spell TK Max? Okay, TK Max, triple X, whatever. Let's just search it, guys. Okay, it might not be here, guys, but basically, this website gives cashback on a different suppliers, on potential suppliers that you might be guys using. Okay, so TK Max. They give Super Dry, they give Jack Willis, they give George as the 12%, guys, okay? But they don't give anything on TK Maxx. Let's say if we're going to go to um, uh, a site called Temptation Gifts. Okay, let's see if it's going to come up, Temptation Gifts. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's not even... Uh, yeah, Temptation Gift is fine. You have to have to add the uh, space between. 1% cash, but Temptation Gifts. Uh, let's give Argus. Just name a couple supplies, guys. You can go and pull them up from Telegram. So maybe it's worth going through Cashback website. And seeing which supply you can potentially go and uh, you know find the best cashback at, and that's where you're going to be sourcing from those vendors. Okay, that's a potential strategy you can actually go and use to find profitable items. You know, like with some extra cashback. So it gives ten six percent cashback on Argus. That means when you're placing an order, you're spending one hundred pounds, you're getting six pounds back. One hundred pounds, one hundred pounds spent, you're getting six pounds back, and that's a really cool thing. Okay, so basically, if you buy six units, six products spending 100 quid and you're making a pound per item back that basically offsets your prep center cost of shipping into amazon for you guys how cool is this all right so use a cashback website for making a purchase guys okay now let me show you guys example of a profitable item and let me guys before before i do that actually let me show you a profitable item first okay i'm going to zoom out so i'm going to give you guys a quick example it's an item from a temptation gifts website i'm just going to pull it up for you guys right now okay so you can see 1519 from temptation gifts and it's going to be selling for $25.97 on Amazon, okay? Just a quick example from a different source, just to show you guys this is all real stuff, and this is all working, you just need to go and start finding those profitable items, guys, okay? I do offer OA deals, by the way, guys, in case you don't know. That's where we are providing uh, profitable items, done for you profitable items, to start selling on Amazon, list of 100 for US and UK markets, guys, okay? If you're up for some American, uh, for some US training already, I left you guys a video, but there's one more coming up on the top right corner, guys, on how to sell on Amazon US, particularly doing the Amazon wholesale model, guys, go and check it out, okay? So that's what I've explained about Amazon US. Here, three ninety three profit, fifteen nineteen source price, twenty five ninety six is a sale price. How cool is this, guys? Okay. So now, before I move on, guys, for being a loyal uh, watcher, for being someone who's been watching this this far, I want to give you guys a little, you know, because I'm sharing the products over here. I want to give you guys a gift, a gift to get you started with a profitable item to kickstart your Amazon FBA business, guys. Okay. All you have to do is comment the word gift below this video, guys, and I will send you a link, uh, information, direction, how to contact my assistant on Telegram to receive your free starting profitable FBA item. Whether you want to receive one for US or UK, just ask him. He will drop you some products, guys. He will drop you, in fact, both of them. I mean, I think he drops both of them, guys. But yeah, just comment word gift to receive it, guys. Only for those of you guys who have been watching this far and actually listening. The rest who has quit it earlier or, you know, whatever, 
they will not get it. Okay, so comment word gift and you will receive the comment that you have to comment the word the code word to actually qualify to receive a profitable item, guys, for my assistant. I will send you information how to contact them and etc. Guys, okay. So now you want to put everything, guys, on autopilot. All this stuff, guys, is good, but it's very time consuming when you're finding products, especially manually. So, you know, if you're doing out oh, like automated way, use touch arbitrage, that's fine. But when you're doing things manually, it can get very time consuming, and that's why I'm outsourcing all of my businesses to virtual assistants, okay? Virtual assistants that I'm hiring from the Philippines, which is basically, this is a website that's called Online Jobs PH. I'll leave the link guys below this video as well. And basically I've been outsourcing, I'm gonna show you guys uh, since 2015. This is something that actually helped me to scale my business from eight to like whatever I was doing, eight, 10, 12, I was doing about 8,000 a month uh, in revenue, okay? So 8,000 a month in revenue I was doing uh, with, um, with um, um, my eBay and my Amazon businesses, and I managed to scale this past 100,000 per month, simply by hiring VAs. You can see all these job postings I've been doing, guys, since 2015, right here. My first, my ever first online jobs page application where I've been outsourcing, hiring VAs. You can see the what the application looked like, and basically we're hiring from Philippines, paying them 300 to 400 pounds or dollars per month, dollars, pounds or less, and they're working for us 40 hours per week, looking for profitable items, finding, you know, doing the research, doing all the hard lifting tasks for us while we're enjoying the lifestyle and just basically traveling the world as well. You know, off to vacation very soon, guys, as well. Probably gonna be seeing this video while I'm on vacation already. So go and follow my social media and etc., guys. So when the, you know, it's um, while we're simply living and like working on my on other businesses and other projects, like Forex Automation is my other project that I'm working on. It's a passive bot program with my partner that we're running. And we're making people anywhere from 20 to 40% on complete autopilot. I've done this video, guys, in the top right corner. Go and check it out. That's another projects that I'm working on besides you know Amazon FBA reselling e-commerce eBay and I can simply focus on creating content and actually doing coaching and helping you guys out helping my students win and etc and I don't spend a single minute a single hour on researching for products and doing any of this stuff myself guys if you're asking this question in your head of course not guys of course this is all done and delegated by my virtual assistants there's not a single time that I've spent, I spend maybe one or two hours a week, not a month, a week, to manage my team, to control my managers, to control my staff and etc. And my managers are outsourcing for me as well. So hiring VAs is very, very essential, guys. You know, and um, if you don't outsource, you just get, you know, you get stuck. You, you, know, you, you get stuck at one point. You can make a thousand a month, two thousand a month by yourself. Absolutely, guys, you need to outsource right away. But if you want to scale, you have to outsource. I actually dedicate a full section towards outsourcing inside my program. And that's the only place I really teach outsourcing because this is a gem. I don't really, I'm not going to be shooting like a lot of content about outsourcing on my YouTube channel because this is stuff is too valuable. How to, you know, how to hire, how to motivate, how to pay the ease, how to build the hierarchy in the business, how to structure everything, how to build the teams, templates, all this stuff, guys. I covering my entry and I think this is too important guys if you really want to scale and this is where a lot of people get get stuck this is where a lot of people get stuck with the growth and that's where a lot of people actually quit as well because you simply might be having a job a full-time job you might have a family and etc guys and you simply want to be staying with them you want to be running something on the side and you don't have to, like seven or eight hours per day looking for profitable items yourself or even three four hours or even two hours a day you want to outsource this stuff guys to the VAs very important, guys, okay? And I'm highly recommending you guys to do so. Guys, listen, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment word guide below this video, guys. Tell me, guys, where you're watching from. Super important as well, guys. Support my other videos, guys. Support my other content. Join my Telegram channel, guys. Make sure to follow me, guys, on Instagram. Everywhere, guys, you see, I will remind you guys to follow me. This is really important, guys, so you don't miss out on any single information, guys. If I spoke too fast sometimes, please rewind and just keep watching my videos. Check out my other content as well, guys. Hopefully, guys, you've enjoyed this video. For any mentoring, the links are below, FB Mastery Program, or School of Amazon if it's available. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below in the comments. I personally read my comments. I don't outsource that stuff to my VAs. My social media is actually on me. I do automation and stuff, but a lot of the a lot of the comments I read myself and actually respond back myself. So make sure to comment, ask me questions, guys. Hopefully you found this Amazon Online Arbitrage for Beginners Guide of 2024 extremely valuable. This is step-by-step -step selling Amazon UK tutorial. And uh, when you're gonna be watching this, guys, you're surely gonna be enjoying this and making a start. Don't forget get to rewind back five minutes back to get your special gift from me profitable item and hopefully guys this was useful share it with your friends share it with your family guys and hopefully guys you found this video useful and i'll speak to you guys very soon check my playlist guys at the end and uh yeah guys on to the next videos guys and i'll speak to you guys soon Bye bye